Tonight, a break in the search for a missing woman. Deputies think this man may know what happened. Tonight, they're trying to find him as well. Good evening, I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Tia Bonta vanished three weeks ago, and deputies think she was last seen with that man at the Days Inn on Colonial Drive and Alafaya Trail in Orange County. Troy Campbell is live outside the hotel tonight. And Troy, what do we know about this guy? Well, what we know now is he is a convicted felon, and according to the sheriff's office, he is avoiding them and their questions about her disappearance. I also spoke with a motel employee here who tells me the two were seen on surveillance video together on July 31st. That's also the last day her family says they've ever heard from her. She's a bubbly girl, just high spirited, just friendly and always upbeat. Tia Bonta's great uncle describing the 24 year old mother who's been missing for almost a month. This afternoon, investigators naming 44-year-old James Delafield as a person of interest in her disappearance. What would your message be to anybody who might be watching this who knows something about what happened? To just come forward and call the sheriff's office and let them know so, again, we can get closure on this. This is all we want. We want her to come home. The Orange County Sheriff's Office says weeks ago, Delafield told them he dropped Bonta off at a home near this intersection, but they've been unable to get a hold of him since. Deputies searching this wooded area across from the home last week but came up empty handed. According to the Florida Department of Corrections website, Delfield has spent several years in prison for drugs and fleeing police. How has it been for the family? This has been several uh, weeks now. Uh, extremely nerve wracking. I'll tell you that it's taken a toll on the family and uh, on all of this. As a matter of fact, a lot of sleepless nights and just not knowing where she's at. Bonta's family says their son Kingston turns one year old tomorrow a birthday Tia had planned to celebrate. And that's the tough thing. She wants to throw a party, but it's not going to happen now. We hope it happens tomorrow. We just pray she walks through the door. Again, the sheriff's office is still attempting to locate Delafield tonight so they can question him about her disappearance. Also, the motel here where she was seen on July 31st, they have one of these missing persons flyers up in their window, hoping they too can help get results. Back to you. All right, Troy Campbell reporting live in Orange County tonight. Thank you. And here is one more look at James Delafield. If you see him or know where he may be, call Crime Line, that number 1 800 423 TIPS.